Let's take a look now at the instrumental uh, introduction verse. Ideally it would be played on the fiddle. Uh, if you don't have a fiddle player then you the guitarist are going to have to pick up the slack there or it also is, makes a good thing to play on one of your rides. Uh, on the fiddle of course the fiddle has a has a lot of ring and sustain to it. It's pitched higher than the guitar and that the high E string on the fiddle is a octave above the high E string on the guitar and so even if you were playing the same notes as a fiddle you'd be playing it on these short string links up here and it just wouldn't sound the same. But you can do a good guitaristic uh, rendition of the instrumental uh, in, uh, introduction. Here's kind of the way that I play it. What I'm doing there is using a lot of double stops in order to give some of the uh, ring to it and so forth. And here's what I'm doing. Um, a lot of the notes there are just notes out of that G chord there on that opening phrase. And so it starts with that, that double stop there, uh, just right out of the G barred chord like you all play. The fifth frets of the uh, uh, A and, and D string, the second notes I'm playing is another pair of fourths, another fourths pair uh, here on the second fret, fret of the D and G string and then the third notes, the third set of notes I'm going to play is going to be those notes out of the G chord. The uh, fifth fret D string and the fourth fret of the G string. So. That final pair is again straight out of the uh, G chord, the fourth fret of the G string, and the third fret of the, the D string. Use those same pairs again. So, what we've got so far is. Same notes. There I'm playing, starting off with that, uh, those notes out of the G chord on the G and the B string, using the uh, fifth fret on the G and the B string, and then again on the G and the B string, the seventh fret G string and sixth fret of the uh, of the B string. That is, of course, your standard blues. That, that is our notes of the G seventh chord. That note there is the note F, the seventh, and that note there is the uh, fifth of the chord, the D. C chord. I'm playing a pretty dissonant sounding thing based on the playing of Fiddler uh, something Thompson. What is that guy's name? Not Cotton Thompson. Um, and I can't remember. Maybe I'll think of it here in a second. Who supposedly introduced the tune into the Bob Wills band. And he played that same double stop from the G 7th chord over the C seventh chord, very dissonant sounding because the F note there is the eleventh of the C chord, very dissonant. The D note there would be the ninth of the C chord, not so dissonant. Uh, but anyway, that same double stop, fifth fret G and B strings. But rather than playing the uh, notes of the G chord like we did before, we're going to play that double stop, uh, third fret of the G and the B strings, and those would be the flat 7 and the 9 of a uh, C, C ninth chord, so that fits right in with the chord.
playing there is starting off these uh, two notes just from a G chord. You know how to play a G chord right there on the seventh fret, the eighth uh, fret of the B string, the seventh fret of the uh, E string, the notes G and B, the double stop on the third fret, the B and the E string, two notes again of the G chord. Those two notes of the G chord also. Oops. And that same as we've used a couple of times before in this intro. So. And then a little fill here. This note's uh, starting off with the note D, 5th fret of the A string, note E, the 2nd uh, fret of the D string, 5th fret D string, the note G, a little pull off from on the G string, 3rd fret to 2nd, and back down with those same three notes. Slide into the 2nd fret of the A string, the note uh, B part of the G chord. Now we're going to the uh, D chord. We're going to walk up the major scale from the G note here, the 5th fret of the D string. G uh, on the 5th fret of the D string. A note, the 2nd fret of the G string, B note, the 4th fret of the G string, 5th fret of the G string is the note C, which will be the 7th of the D chord. And just back and forth from the 5th fret to the 4th fret, slide up to uh, the 7th fret of the G string, which is the note D, you could just play it here. repeat as our tag this uh, same thing as we've used before. Then a tag very similar to that fill thing that we did. is the uh, fifth of the D chord. And here's one more way that you might tag that uh, the, the ending if you didn't want to use this. Um, you could do it like this. Which is sort of a Charlie Christian-y sounding thing. So what I've done there is um, just like we did before, those three notes of a G chord, the note C, note B, note G, the note D, F sharp, G. As the sun sets uh, in the west of Austin, Texas, I'm just coming back, uh, logging back on to say it was in fact Guy Cotton Thompson, so named because of his penchant for listening to the work songs of black cotton pickers, was a blues enthusiast who added milk cow blues to the western swing repertoire. He played it in the mid-30s with the Alabama Boys, but did not record it till he was a member of Johnny Lee Wills and his boys. Uh, that's according to Stacy Phillips in his book, Western Swing Fiddle.